we have any results from colleagues who may have looked at whether their topic has been previously evaluated through a search. Is there anybody who would like to make a comment about their topic? Mitya, are you there in the group? You, and uh, are you able to say anything about whether other studies exist on your topic? Okay, so I think, uh, right. So, uh, so uh, are you able to unmute your mic, microphone and just uh, sh share it, share the information that you are currently typing? I, I did already some research on this subject and uh, what I found out is that there are some studies, there are some classification systems that were already developed, but uh, no system uh, used uh, like something for the evaluation that is objective and it's, uh, uh, it's not subjective in any way. And uh, it's like... Uh, the artificial intelligence uh, part would be about that. Okay, so if your question is about do systems for assessing outcome of breast reconstructions exist, the answer to that question is yes, that is correct. No, there are systems to evaluate it, but I I found nothing about uh, using. Uh, this kind of system to evaluate it in an in a repeatable and objective way okay so is this something you think you are able to review and present your search and construct a figure one and at the end it may be possible for you to evaluate those studies that exist demonstrating that their quality is not good enough or they are not suitable well i i would say that i i most likely i'll be in the in that category that there are no studies that are exactly like that the studies are different they uh, developed a system to classify the breast reconstruction but they never did something that uh, used that uh, in in a different way so i would say that they have nothing that's really like that they are similar but uh, not exactly like uh, what i want to do but obviously i have to do okay. some more research to to be sure that there's nothing because i only did okay. the search on so, pubmed and so okay uh thank you very much uh that's very helpful now, you know that artificial intelligence is not just usable for creating these assessment systems like you are interested in. Artificial can, intelligence can also be used for systematic reviews. 
Did you ever hear about that? No. Okay. So here are some findings from a published paper. Uh, you will notice that I am a co-author on this with other colleagues, including some from um, artificial intel uh, of our computer sciences department. And at the current time, around five people working on a systematic review funded take about 12 months to complete the project. I'm not talking about a review carried out for a doctoral thesis. I'm talking about a substantial review undertaken in order to inform uh, uh, practice and policy uh, with respect to health service. But artificial intelligence software can be developed to automate the literature search aspect that I just described to you. and can also be developed to extract data from papers. And the idea is that few people can do the same stuff that normally is done by a lot of people over a long period of time, and that these two people can do it more quickly. So, for I, I noticed another colleague who was also mentioning artificial intelligence yesterday. I just want you to realize that artificial intelligence is not in itself something new or intellectually advanced. Artificial intelligence is something that simply automates what human beings do more slowly. And for this type of automation, um, to take place, in fact, it is necessary for the computer to know what human beings did beforehand which they did slowly. So when you say that your systematic review found nothing using artificial intelligence, I can accept that. But what I cannot accept is that you can have an artificial intelligence system that is doing something totally new because artificial intelligence normally does not do anything new. It only does things faster. Mitya, you have a you have a question on the chat. You say the current standard is for five people working full time on one review. Yes, that is correct. This is a this is a professionally carried out review that is used by, for example, the health ministry to create uh, practice and policy guidelines. You you thought review is something that one could just do over a weekend, Mitya? No, obviously not. But uh, the way I think I will be using artificial intelligence is just as a tool. It's not that the artificial intelligence is doing something, but using it as a tool. It has never been described before in, yeah, this, I, I, uh, yes. in this way. Yeah. So what I meant to say was that you said the studies exist before that created some uh, rules or formula or but never applied it by artificial intelligence. In fact, reviewing those formulas, um, criteria, et cetera, will itself be extremely worthwhile. It's, they have not been subjected to a systematic review before. I think that there are very few of them. So I don't know if it's enough for a uh... A really good systematic review. It's uh, more of a comparison of a couple of systems. Well, I only remind you that 20 years ago, BMJ published a review with zero studies. And I, I don't think I need to say anything more than that. 
okay any other colleague who wants to bring forward his example for consideration or discussion okay if not i like to say a few words at this stage about something called publication bias have you heard about publication bias may, may i ask if you've heard about publication bias yes okay eva says yes nesa says yes ochka says yeah says no so eva or nesa are you able to explain to Hoshka and the rest of us, what have you heard about publication bias? Um, maybe um, the good research outcome is uh, published more likely than a negative one. Okay, so if you do a good if you do a study, and its result is Is there anybody else who would like to say something about publication bias? Okay, no, no problem, Nessa. Uh, anybody else would like to? A a Eva, would you like to say something more about uh, this issue? Uh, I can explain as I understand. Yeah, please do. Thank you. Um, if I'm not wrong, um, the publication bias uh, refers to um, the probability of uh, studies with positive findings um, so that the studies with uh, positive findings uh, are more likely to be published than those uh, uh, which did not um, find uh, statistic significant differences, for example. And that's uh, called publication bias. So if you only include um, the published studies into a systematic review, you are um, risking um, this uh, type of bias. So you automatically make a conclusion that uh, one intervention is, for example, uh, good or better than the other, according to the published studies. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, E Evo makes a comment that you made a good explanation. So I appreciate that. How do you think publication bias can affect your searches? And is there anything you can do to evaluate whether there is publication bias or not inside your search for a systematic review? <laughs> 